Alright, so I just swapped out my Drake Interplanetary Cutlass for the uh, Aegis Dynamics uh, Avenger. Uh, it's the first time taking a look at it, so uh, I have no idea what to expect other than what I've seen on YouTube and read about. So let's take a look. The ship itself looks pretty awesome. Uh, big gun on the front. I believe that was a class 1 or 2. I can't recall. Uh, those those guns there are definitely class 1. They are fixed. They cannot turn. I believe this is a class 2. It can rotate all that stuff. Um, guessing that's fuel tank there, not missiles. And underbelly. Can't quite tell what's going on here. Some fuel lines, thrusters, all that good stuff. More thrusters on the back. Some on the top on the back. Some sort of atmosphere intake. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Alright, let's take a look inside. Alright, so I wasn't sure if it came with these or not, but it does come with the um, stasis pods. I uh, wonder if it's going to let me use it. Nope, that's just the ramp. Mind your head. Sounds like a British ship or something. So it automatically climbs up when you click use and shuts behind you. Does not appear you can get inside of the bed. Let's go third person here for a second. So it does look like all well, the camera's all going nuts right now. You are kind of crouched walking in here. I wasn't sure it kind of felt like that, but you definitely are. So I'm not really sure how this guy is going to fit in the bed here, but um, I guess we'll make do. Alright, going into the cockpit. It's got a tight fit. Still in the third person here. Right, swap back to first. So compare this to the Cutlass, it does seem to be a more refined ship, obviously much smaller. Um, maybe there's a heads-up display, something that comes up, there doesn't seem to be a lot of controls, but uh, otherwise pretty awesome. Looking around here. All right, we're going to exit the cockpit. Again, it does feel like you're crawling. I'm pressing control, it doesn't crouch at all. I wonder if out here you're crawling too. No, so yeah, I can stand up completely here. Forget the specs, I think it was something like seven or eight tons of cargo. So definitely smaller than the uh, the Cutlass. Certainly a bit cheaper, seventy-five dollars, and that gets you the Alpha, the Beta, all the modules, all that good stuff. Um, seems like a pretty cool ship. It's uh, said to be the sniper of ships. So I'll have to check that out once uh, the dogfighting module comes out. 